Hi there! Alibaba has reported the results for the first quarter. Now, when you look at this performance, you will say, oh my god, in the last five years, quite, quite a bad investment. A decline of almost 50%. If you had invested in 2021, your decline would have been even higher. Over 74%. Quite bad, quite bad. That's why it's important to know when to invest. So, if you look at the results, let me show you. The revenue hasn't grown that much. Only an increase of 4%. And for the other sub-segments, you can also see a decline. And if you look at the free cash flow, you can see another decrease and also for their net income. You can see here, income from operations has declined compared to the last year, Q1. So this is quite bad. Their numbers aren't that great. But if you believe in the future of Alibaba, that they can turn this business around, then you may have a chance to invest right now and make some money in the long term. But of course, if you focus on the short term, you don't have any chance. Because tomorrow or next month, the stock price can go back to $60, as it was the case in the past, as you can see, $68 or $69. The stock price goes up based on good news and then goes down. And this may happen again in the next months. That's why it's important to focus on a longer period. Of course, if you look at this time period of five years, you see this massive decline. And of course, you also have to take into account the valuation, what price you pay for this business. So if you look at their numbers, they aren't that great. Segment by segment, you can see that Taobao and Timo has decreased by 1%, so a decline of 1%. Cloud Intelligence Group has increased by 6%. This is an improvement compared to last quarters when the growth rate was flat. Then you have international e-commerce. They maintain their huge growth rate over 30%, but they're still having some losses. Then Sinio, an increase of 16%, and local services, an increase of 12%. The other segments are too small to take into account. So overall, their total revenue, as you can see, total segment revenue has increased by 6%. It's not a huge growth. If they report let's say, growth rate over 10% in the next quarters and also increase their net income, especially from operations and free cash flow, then you'll see a higher increase in the stock price. Of course, the most important thing is to understand their strategy. Why the revenue doesn't grow that much? And if you look at their Taobao and Timo group, especially their sub-segments, direct sales and others, you can see a decline of 9%. You might say that this is bad. And also for customer management, an increase of only 1%. And you might say that this is bad. This is the end of Alibaba. But as I said, if you understand the strategy, then you are willing to wait and believe that this business can rebound in the future. So, you see this decline of 9% in their direct sales because they are closing their unprofitable businesses, especially those that require a lot of capital. You will see next quarter and the other quarters another decline in their direct sales and maybe the revenue won't grow that much. They will report the same growth rate, 6 or 4%. But pay attention that when they close their unprofitable businesses, their net income will go up in the long term. They won't have to spend more money on unprofitable projects and they'll focus on those high margins projects, 
high margins businesses, as they are doing with their cloud intelligence group. If you look at the past quarters, you will see that the growth rate for the cloud intelligence group wasn't that high. It was flat and in some quarters they reported a decline of 1-2%. They did the same thing for cloud intelligence group. They closed their unprofitable projects and focused only on the high margin projects. And that's why they delivered an increase of 6% in their cloud group. And the same thing will happen with their Taobao and Timo. They will reduce their bad businesses that require a lot of capital and are unprofitable and they will focus on their high margins projects. Now you might say that for customer management this is quite a profitable business. They don't have to invest a lot of capital and they can charge more. But if you look at the competition, they also compete with JD, PDD Holdings and other small companies and they have to have the right strategy for the long term, not to focus on the short term, to increase their profits and revenue and forget about their customers. That's why they are keeping their fees, their take rate low so that they attract more users to their platform and in the long term they will be a winner. Maybe the other companies will do the same thing or they will focus on the short term to increase their revenue and earnings, their stock prices will go up, but in the long term what matters is mindshare of customers. The platform that can maintain the services to offer great products, great services in the long term for a longer period, that platform will be the winner in the long term. So this is their strategy. Lower their unprofitable projects to close them, keep their fees low and attract more customers for Taobao and Timo. Same thing for cloud intelligence and the other businesses. And if you believe in this strategy, that in the long term, they can become a winner and increase their earnings and revenue, then you can take advantage of this business. Of course, there is no guarantee that Alibaba will succeed 100%. There is also risk. Be aware that they compete with other players. They might succeed or not. That's why you have to be aware also of the risk. If you look at the other indicators, I mean, great things they did in the last quarters, you can see that they've done a lot of buybacks. The number of shares have decreased from 2.6 billion to 2.3 billion. And they still have 26 billion left for buybacks. And the current market cap of 200 billion, that would be a return over 10% if they buy at the current price. And on top of that, you also get a dividend of 2% or 1.5% a year, something like that. So this is another plus that you get from this business. Besides a rebound in their businesses, you also get more buybacks. Now, their highlights, as they said, Taobao and Timo is winning the mind share of their customers. This is their main goal. Not their profits, not their revenue. And that's why you see this decline in their numbers. They are focusing on the mind share of their customers. And if they succeed to maintain their winning position in the long term, then Alibaba will succeed to deliver a profit. Not the next quarter, or in the next two or three quarters, but in the next five years, they will deliver that profitability that will make the stock price go up. Despite that decline in their numbers, you will see that Alibaba in the last month has increased by 10%. So the market seems that likes their strategy, what they're doing, and they said that in the next quarters, they will deliver a higher growth rate. If they can achieve that next year, 
then you can easily have a double from the current level of $83. As I said, if you trust the management, if you like the strategy, then you can take advantage. But if you don't like the risk, competition, new regulation from China or international, other problems like geopolitical risks, then stay away from Alibaba and other Chinese companies. So that's it for this video. And if you have other questions about this company, Alibaba, then let me know in the comments.